Good morning, everybody. This is Randy Gold, the Trout Magnet Man. Going to kick off my uh, YouTube fishing channel this morning. Just want to give a little introduction. Uh, I'm an avid uh, ultralight tackle enthusiast. Uh, love catching uh, multi-species. Uh, all on ultralight tackle. I do own a couple of rods. Uh, one rod is a medium light. One rod is a light. I probably own, I don't know, 15 to 20 ultralight rods, because uh, that's that's 90-something percent of the fishing I do is with uh, ultralight rods, a two-pound test line, mostly a two-pound SOS test line. It's a great line. I really enjoy using it. Uh, all of my gear is uh, out of Japan, uh, off the Japanese domestic market. Uh, I love Japanese fishing tackle. Now, of course, that's not necessarily uh, what you have to have to catch fish. It's just what I use. Uh, I'm a tackle enthusiast. I love collecting uh, gear out of Japan. That's, that's just what I do. Today, uh, we're going to start off the video with some white bass uh, fishing down below Nickajack Dam. Went down there looking for shellcracker and bluegill, and that wasn't uh, that wasn't happening. So I went up to the dam, uh, did a quick scan with my sonar along the wing wall, found the white bass uh, stacked in there, literally stacked, had to be thousands in there. Uh, they were anywhere from 14 to 22, 23, 24 feet deep, uh, as thick as uh, seven feet, uh, on, stacked on top of one another. Started out fishing with a 1 8 ounce fin spin. Uh, with a midnight blue slab curly, but I quickly changed the one eighth ounce over to one quarter ounce, which that's not an ultralight bait at all, even though I'm using ultralight tackle. Uh, but the one quarter ounce, uh, I could get it deeper quicker, and it would stay in the strike zone. Uh, as I'm a cast and retrieve guy, it would stay in the strike zone longer than the one eighth ounce would before I'd get it up by the column where the fish were at. Once I switched to the one quarter ounce, uh, started getting a white bass every cast. Uh, at the end of the day, uh, had right around 200 white bass boated. Uh, it was uh, so many fish, my hands got to cramp in there, uh, which is a good problem to have when you're fishing. I love white bass action. It's just nothing can beat it. Uh, I caught those fish on a major craft cruiser, six foot five, ultralight rod hard model and i will do reviews of these tackle um, uh, different tackles as i as i uh, go along through the channel uh, this rod i specifically bought for white bass smallmouth fishing it is an ultralight rod but it can handle quarter ounce baits uh, it's it's just a fantastic rod. You don't you don't miss anything. The the the, the uh, any fish sniffs on this thing, you're going to feed it. I have it paired to a uh, Diva Certate reel 2004 uh, H, which is a high speed retrieve. Uh, it has uh, I think I said earlier, it's spooled up with a trout magnet SOS two pound test line. It's a great rod great rod for its intended purpose. I love fishing with it. Uh, and as you'll see in the uh, video, you'll see that the white bass uh, really put a bend in this rod, but it can handle them. Uh, that's why it has the hard designation, uh, although it is a true ultralight rod. So I hope you enjoy the video. Uh, and I, if you do, I hope you subscribe and I hope you hit the like button. And I hope to see you out on the water. If you see uh, the trout magnet boat, uh, it's got a trout magnet wrap on it, crappie magnet wrap, battleship gray, a little bitty old man boat, crappie boat. Uh, pull up and say hello. And uh, hope to see you out there. And uh, so live them all. And remember, life is good. There he is. I'm definitely on the white bass here. They ain't what I want, but. I mean, they're not the size I want, but hey, they're digging. They are digging. Hmm. <sighs> get get out of that motor. Get out of that motor.
Ooh, yes, 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 yes. Yes, sir. That is what I want right there. That right there is a white bass. That right there is a good one. That is a pretty white bass. measures out 14 inches. There he is. Uh, yes, sir. Right on clockwork. Mmm. Boy, these fish are strong. Yes. Oh yes. Another good fish. Another good fish. Yeah, he's 14 inches. Anytime you get 14 inch white bass, that's good. But it get bigger, but uh, 14 inch on two pound line, give you all you want. Water temp 60, 63.5 up here. Water is quite stained. There's another one, boy. Man, I tell you, this just it's gonna be non-stop action. This fish is digging. This fish is really digging. Feels like a pretty good fish. He's digging. He don't want to come to the boat. Yep, another good one. Another good fish on the fin spin. digging. I love some white bass action. Well, I think this is a pretty good fish here. I don't know. Oh yeah. Yeah.
There he is. Folks, this is just pure fun right here. I don't care who you are. If you don't like this, something something's wrong with you. Right on schedule. Folks, I have about caught so many of these, my hands are starting to cramp. Right on cue. Oh, oh, oh yes. I believe this may be, I don't know, it may be a little better fish. Digging a little harder. There he is. Right where he's supposed to be. Just digging. Just digging. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Folks, I'm going to close out the video. 
I already see them. I'm gonna have to get me a, a power pack. But I've done switch batteries two times, and uh, I'm not gonna switch another one. But uh, I'm gonna stay here and catch some more fish. I've already probably caught, I don't know, 90, 100, something like that. Uh, it's just absolutely on fire. And uh, until next time, we'll see you on the water. Sore lip them off.